Hey guys, welcome back. Mike Donnie for Fire Engineering. So this video will coincide with the article you just read regarding confined space rigging. This is a confined space setup for vertical entry. At first glimpse, you might be scratching your head saying, that looks pretty complicated. I assure you it's not. I'm going to explain it to you right now and hopefully at the end you'll say, you know what Mike, that really wasn't that complicated. So here it is, check it out. Here's our four to one. All right, that's going to be our main line, our up and down. It's going to get the rescuers and the victim in and out of the hole. Now, each side, you got to have a belay, all right? Rescuer one belay, rescuer two belay. Now, if I got two rescuers in the space, I got to have two top side ready to go in should something go south. Well, that means two more belays. Red line, all right, belay here. Yellow line, belay here. Now, I used a couple different belay devices just to give you an idea of what's out there. You see on this side here, I have tandem prusiks on this slide. I have an MPD perfect device on this side. Here I got 540, and again I used the tandem prusiks. Now if you look behind on either side, you'll see mini 4 to 1 wall systems here and here. The reason for that is, should these tandem prusiks lock up, whether it be a mainline failure in an actual belay catch, or the main line, or the guy that was doing the lowering, was going maybe a little too fast, and the guy in the belay couldn't keep up, causing a belay to lock up. So with the tandem prusiks, you need to offload them. You need to take the load off them in order to free them of the rope. So what you would do is you take another set of prusiks, each one, and you take a, uh, some kind of can and throw it on there. So should they lock up, you simply take your four to one, hook it onto your line, give a haul, that'll take the load off of the victim, you can go ahead and free your prusiks up again. So if you look, it's the same on this side for this set of prusiks. Now the MPD is great, but you don't need to do that. It's an MPD, a multi-purpose device, which means I can lower with it, I can belay with it, which is what we're doing, or I can raise with it. Inside here, there's a one-way high efficiency pulley. So with a simple connect of a pulley on a line here, on a main line, redirect it back with the directional, you can have yourself a quick three to one. All the uses with this MPD is an entire different video. There's a lot we can do with it. Um, so should there be a main line failure, um, an accidental belay locked up, MPD is very easy. All you need to do is simply just give it a little bit of lower and you're good. You're back to square one and ready to go. This side here, the 540, should this go ahead and lock up because of that either catastrophic failure or you know the guy in the main line is going a little too fast, I can't catch up, it's not a big deal. There's a lever in the back here I could go ahead and throw it towards the load. That's going to give us a little bit of slack, all right? What you want to watch out for and pay attention for is how far did that main line go past where this caught? If it went, say, three feet, if you throw this, that guy's going to drop three feet, all right? So if it locks up, take a look at the slack in that main line, have him up a little bit, then you go ahead and throw this cam, set it back to neutral, all right, and continue your own. So a quick breakdown again. Main line, belay, belay. We're gonna again pair these together. Look on this side, second rescuer belay, mini four to one for the tail prusik belay. I'm on this side. Second uh, second rescuer belay, or I guess it'll be the fourth rescuer belay. Mini four to one to offload the prusiks. Okay, so if you notice either side is mirrored, it's the same thing. So hopefully at this point by now you're looking at it saying, you know what, it's really not that difficult. They mirror themselves, they look exactly the same. Now these mini 4 to 1s, you can replace them with one main 4 to 1 that you can kind of jump from line to line should you need to offload a 4 to 1, but it takes 20 seconds to hook that mini 4 to 1 up. I can just go like this, or like this rather, and I'm good to go, rather than having to bump back and forth to change anchor points. So, for me, I like this. It's pretty simple when you look at it. And hopefully, right now, this is more simple for you to look at. So, until next month, next article, next video, stay safe, stay progressive, and keep training.